Does the flap of a butterfly's wings set off a tornado in Texas? This was the title of a talk on chaos theory given by meteorologist Edward Lorenz to the American Association for the Advancement of Science in 1972. The idea has since captured the public imagination with butterfly effect, now shorthand for chaos theory. Chaos theory is the idea that tiny changes in initial conditions will escalate into much bigger differences in the future. When something is highly sensitive to subtle changes in its trajectory, its future state will become very difficult to predict, even with the most powerful computers on the planet. Even these two simple pendulums are sensitive to tiny differences in their starting positions. Initially, they follow a similar path, but soon enough, their paths significantly diverge. We used to think the universe ran like clockwork, a perfect machine governed by the laws of physics that could be predicted using mathematical equations such as Newton's laws of motion. Taken to the extreme, in 1814, French scholar Pierre Simon Laplace imagined that a supreme intellect, often referred to as a demon, would be able to accurately foresee the future of the universe if they knew the position of every atom and the nature of every force acting on it. In reality, we can't analyze every atom in the universe, every rock in the solar system, or every cloud droplet around the world with infinite precision. When we have an incomplete picture of the initial conditions, small errors in our approximation can have enormous consequences in the future, as Edward Lorenz discovered accidentally in the winter of 1961. Whilst running simulations of 12 weather variables using a basic computer model, Lorenz wanted to rerun a simulation. To save time, he started from halfway through the simulation instead of the beginning and input the numbers from halfway through a previous printout. The result was an entirely different weather forecast, bearing no resemblance to the outcome from his previous simulation. Initially confused, Lorenz soon realized that the only difference was that the numbers on the printout were shortened to three decimal places, whilst the numbers in the computer memory retained six decimal places. This tiny difference at the start of his revised simulation was enough to eventually generate entirely different weather patterns, and the idea of the butterfly effect was born. Nowadays, we have much more powerful supercomputers that can compute thousands of trillions of equations every second. Into these computers, we feed more than 200 billion observations around the world every day. Weather forecasts are improving all the time. Met Office four-day forecasts are now as accurate as our one-day forecasts were 30 years ago. But no matter how advanced our technology, Weather forecasts will still be limited by the fact that we will never know an infinite amount about the current state of the atmosphere. That's why modern meteorologists use ensemble forecasts. Supercomputers don't just run one simulation of the future anymore, they now run an ensemble of dozens of simulations. Each time a small change in initial conditions is made, we can then see what the most likely outcomes are and how sensitive the forecast is to subtle differences in pressure, temperature, or something so small we'll never know what it is.